What up, AVG crew? I'm DJ. I'm Alan, and today we are you are playing the Stanley Parable. Would you look at that? <laughs> I, I do not know anything about this game. Skim suggested it. We're going to play it, Alan. No, we're not this skipping. is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley, Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. And oh, nice. seven too high, you know what I'm saying? Job. <laughs> he sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. It's Orders came lighting. to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. How long <laughs> the light is like per terribly placed. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Good for him, you know? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, that's you, huh? Yeah, we're Stanley, dude. Oh, oh, all everyone died, huh? Or like the building got sold, or the company got sold, and no one told Stanley because he was. What could it mean? <laughs> so he decided to go to the his room the whole time. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe he was like so mm. useless to the company they just didn't tell him he was. The company went under. <laughs> yeah. But how did he get to work and like no? Did he get to work so early that like no one else is there at the time he shows up? Yeah, all the computers are on. Yeah. Do they just waste energy twenty four seven? All the lights are on. Oh, I hate Monday. Hmm. That sucks, man. Get a different job. <laughs> Monday's a whole one seventh of your life. <laughs> so. <laughs> Stanley yeah. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, I entered the door on my left? What if I don't? Oh, shoot! Are we gonna follow the narrator? No. <laughs> That's how this DJ breaks the games. Way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The employee lounge. I'm going to the employee lounge! Yeah, this workplace is terrible looking. Yeah, it is. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been <laughs> worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley <laughs> simply stood here, drinking it all in. Sure, he did. I can't leave now. I screwed up. <laughs> I screwed up. I'm this? sorry. I'm sorry, yes. Nary. Let me in. Let me in. It's really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. <laughs> Who is this narrator? I feel like I he's know. controlling us. I think he's angry that we didn't listen. Either to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. <laughs> don't do it. Do we just ignore him the whole time? I don't know. <laughs> I kind of want to see what happens. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoa. It's like the office, Ooh. like the warehouse. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-oh. Door closed. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. This game. Okay, I'm kind of getting worried. I don't know if we could die. <laughs> I'm not listening to him. God's going to be angry at me. <laughs> What's he going to say next? Did that door close too? Yeah, dude. We're like that, slowly no, getting trapped in here, bro. Do not jump from the cargo lift while is it in motion. It will cause death. Nah, I could survive <laughs> that, dude. Check us out. <laughs> Look, Stan, really? I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your <laughs> enemy, really, I'm not. 
I realize that investing in your trust in oh. someone else can be difficult, but the fact <laughs> is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Uh, There's someone oh you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Her? her. Ooh. <laughs> what is this? Who's her? Is he, can, does he have my wife or my sister or something? <laughs> this is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Ugh. She's been waiting. Oh, God. I don't know. I guess. What, I have to go. What does he want us to do? Choose the <laughs> Just go turn to the different one. Okay, I'm going in. Did it close behind you? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. dark. I don't like this. This is a scary game for Kim. Did you trick us? Oh, God. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you Ew. can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. <laughs> I'm not picking up the phone. I'll trust you. What's gonna happen if you don't? I don't know. I'm not picking up. I don't want to talk to her. I plug There's it. like nothing else you can do. A you can't. Picked up the phone. A white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one. Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? I did. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? <laughs> Actually, chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Real! I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. <laughs> Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if you think correctly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical oh, real person terrible. named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Jesus. Which choice would you make? <laughs> Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, Fish. in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a bag, sack, and crack. It's 4.30, Alan. Time to have a bag and sack and crack. Excellent. <laughs> Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Oh my god. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? <laughs> and finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling <laughs> should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide I like you in that exercise feeling. to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. 
you may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Um, well. what is this game? <laughs> what are we doing, Alan? I didn't expect we were going to have to make some, like, freaking life-altering <laughs> changes to our, our brains. Like, what what is happening? <laughs> Open up your third eye, people. Oh, oh geez. I guess, uh... Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Is there, is there anything okay. weird happening? No, no nothing okay. really else normal. you can do. Okay, let's go back There's on this. There's another thing. platform. Oh, there's, like... Gates now. Safer. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main <laughs> character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Bet you I could have, when it was over that, I could have jumped off there and went through that door. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Dude, this game, I kind of want to do another run after this I know. Game <laughs> and see what happens Oop. if we choose right and we're like a sweet boy and then we're a chaos boy. Yeah. Okay. Or if we jumped off the edge when there weren't any That's guardrails. chaos boy. Okay, okay. Back in the break room. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Wow, it's really just forcing us right back there. <laughs> now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when <clears throat> Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh man. Dude, stuff's what getting weird. There? <laughs> stuff's getting weird. Oh man. <laughs> I wonder what percentage of people that play this game actually go the correct way. It's like so tempting to not follow instructions when you have the power to. Yeah, I mean, it's very human. Okay, I don't want to go the right way. I don't want to go. Stop bossing me around. I'm not Stanley, I'm DJ, and DJ loves breaking things. Maybe, can I go up? Probably not. I bet you just have to go back the right way. Uh, dang it. <sighs> well, it's down this way. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we've talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what Sorry, am I dude. supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Alan, I killed it. I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. I'm what, sorry. Do you think that would be funny? You just well. have to see. Yeah. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. <laughs> do you know what who story? you're talking to? I haven't been Stanley in a gone long time. The the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole <laughs> underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Uh, uh, behave oh. exactly as Stanley would. That means what choosing the? responsibly and always putting the story Whoa. first. I'm quite what sure the? you'll be up to the task. Just follow my <laughs> lead and you'll be fine. 
All right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, boy, did he not do that. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing with a DM who's really bad and wants no. a story on rails. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's behaving Rose. exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope. Uh-oh. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. He's behaving exactly as Stanley What is gonna... That means that's the choosing same thing responsibly that happened last time. and always putting the story first. He entered the door on his left. He sprinted through the right one. <laughs> No! Why did you do that? Okay, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Fine! You win! He entered the door on his left. Fine, I go through it. There you go, dude. Chill. Your narrative's all cool. This green broccoli. Mm. Or what? No, it's a leaf. Never mind. Oh. Oh. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, so we're actually going through the story now. <laughs> Let a ball up inside of you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Using slides to assure employees that everything's okay. Make sure your Some slides have a slick blue tests. graph. <laughs> Everyone is unique. Most of all, you. You're the most unique. <laughs> this game's fun. Okay. I guess we're going. I keep trying to go in all these doors. Ooh. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Can't go down. I tried, Alan. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what? Oop. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. There's a panda with a gun on it over here. and That, <laughs> that makes me not trust this guy. If this guy's working every day, I'm staring That's at what a, he sees all day. <laughs> at like a gun panda. Stanley spoke the code. Night shark one one five. I don't know if I did. A little bit uh, forceful there. I don't know if I did do that. I'm sorry. Is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please. Oh, did, did speak I stutter? Speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Maybe I like this room. <laughs> I like this room. I would do yoga in it. A chill. Okay, yeah, just, just stay You're here. You're gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> when Stanley oh. came to a set of two open doors, <gasps> <laughs> it's Stanley. This game is so that? weird. <laughs> you, is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. Uh, I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the end. This was a this was a weird there's like barely any conclusion. I feel like this game is so weird, dude. <laughs> what just happened to us, Alan? <laughs> is our third eye open, dude? Can you read mine? So, yeah, I, I'm reading that you want to play the game again, but jump off of that platform this time. Boy, do I. Did I? Is it? <laughs> oh. Oh, the end is never the end. The end All is never the end. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay, now we're jumping, dude. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, he sure did. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. 
Boy, I love employee rooms. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, TP gorgeous TP. room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without but eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, we could do that. Or we can go chaos yeah. route. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. Okay, here we go. What? Who? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced <laughs> that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. I don't believe you. Chaos route. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna escape this place, Alan. You and me. You and nice. me and Stanley. <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah, There's I'm pretty excited. Let's get out of here, bro. Oh. Now Ooh. listen carefully, this is important. Stanley <laughs> walked the through the red door. <laughs> oh shoot. Ooh, go in the blue the door. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, what if I spin <laughs> around and then go through the blue door? <laughs> <laughs> Poop. I still don't think we're communicating. Oh. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's no way to go through the blue door. <laughs> blue door. Oh, blue door. <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Dude, blue door <laughs> for the win. Fish. Oh, man. Whoa. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken <laughs> rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? <laughs> what would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work <laughs> with me, you've given me absolutely nothing so far. <laughs> Tell you what, let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There what? we go, a third option. <laughs> this already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go on, Stanley, <laughs> take it for a spin. I kind of want to check it out. I kind of want to go down the right door now, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, he is kind of asking us to, but I mean, I do want to see what's in there. Let's go down the texture door. Let's try it out. Sure. Maybe there's Let's cars do what he says. skill tree. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel <laughs> free to be honest. I like, I like that we can not listen and do weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, five out of five. Five out of five. You get five out of five stars. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly what? candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Did you know that skip the intro sequence? What? We're 9,328th? <laughs> That's not We're right. last place. <laughs> Why not, not ask right. your friends for help? <laughs> Error. Friends list empty. <laughs> uh, you only the worst 3% of players <laughs> chose the blue door. Whoa, he's trying to manipulate us. Uh. This is your superior. <laughs> this is you. <laughs> Okay, I see how it is, Stanley. We're not friends, and I understand that. <laughs> now, I'm going to choose the right door. Do you want to go in here yeah. again? Where do you want to go, Alan? I want to see what's in that uh, first door on the left that he spoke about. Oh. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? What is this? Uh, that competitive leaderboard made me want to find you and it's end one. you. <laughs> end. 
Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. No. Let Show me, me what you're up. talking about. Loading, loading. Okay. In this game, the baby goes <laughs> left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Jesus! So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? This is annoying. Do you want to watch the baby burn out? Well, it's not a real baby. No, it's not. It's adorable baby, but it's 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 just a cardboard cutout. This isn't cut even out. an adorable baby. This is like a C tier baby, dude. I'm giving it a C, <laughs> C baby. Bye. You heartless bastard! Did you <coughs> do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's Bye. over. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Loading, loading, loading. Oh, Minecraft! Oh, oh my Is this god. Any at last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. This will go here. No, here. And then... He's a slow builder. <laughs> Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes, it's complete. <laughs> I made this, Stanley. Step inside and make yourself comfortable. This dude loves doors. <laughs> well, can't I mean, really being jump, that you? I can't jump and I can't do anything or else I'd go play Minecraft. You know what I'm saying, guys? Gotta get those diamonds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't even get this dandelion. Okay, fine. <laughs> Are they allowed to include this in the game? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Hey. What the heck? This game is so much deeper than I thought. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? This is bad, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. <laughs> Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. I start hearing <laughs> a zombie. What's the new game going to be? <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this, this game even supposed to be? Yeah, that's what I I'm thinking. figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Toilet. Let's go find out what the hell this is. There's this game timer. is way bigger than I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It is Portal. It's Look. A puzzle. Critical thinking, <laughs> Stanley. Your forte. It's totally Portal. <laughs> you guys throw it in the door <laughs> to hold it open. Yeah, I wanted. Wait. Can I? Can I leave it on here, then get another one? Dang. Can't get another one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll go to the store. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. 
Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he <laughs> ever made. The thought won't last long. Good luck That's with your work. So salty at me, And I man. sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Dang. Okay. Well, I'm going to jump down that hole for sure <laughs> and try and break the game more. I mean, I feel like you shouldn't really... Blame the people playing your game for your inability to good, create a good game. Just want you to know that before I jump down this hole, Mr. Narrator. Peace. <laughs> Deuces. Oh, whoa. Whoa. What's happening, man? Okay, I don't know where to go, man. It, it all just kind of becomes. <gasps> oh! Well, I don't think we're supposed to be here. <laughs> this is like everyone's dream, like to like break the game and go places where you're not supposed to. Yeah, glitch out stuff. Every little boy's dream. I've done this to plenty of games. Every inner child's dream. Yeah. Okay, okay. why can't I go in here? Okay, I can't. <gasps> Who's doing work in here? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's so hard to see. <laughs> oh, is that a security camera? Okay, wait, what do we do? I don't know. Uh-oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. <laughs> what? <laughs> the end is never the end. The end is never the end. The end. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I feel like if we keep playing, we can keep doing more and more different things. I think that we should call it for now. Yeah. This is fun though. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there must be a very big tree of like possible Decisions. things you can do. Every yeah. decision you make. Cool guys, well we hope you enjoyed this playthrough. We're gonna try and play more decision making games. You guys seem to like that with Henry and let us know if you want us to see, uh, want us to play any other games kind of like this or have any suggestions. Yeah, watch us decide stuff. <laughs> we'll decide the heck out of things. What do you want us to decide <laughs> on? Do you want, you want what type of ice cream you want? What type of shoes you need? Come on. Oh, we're pro deciders. Dude, we'll, super we'll decide deciders. anything. All right, guys. AVG out. <laughs>